The Verify Simulator shows a solid model of the stock which updates while showing the tool cutting the part. The Backplot Simulator can be used from within the Verify Simulator by selecting Backplot. I'll turn the workpiece visibility on. Then click the play button to watch the simulation. I'll rewind it. And I can change the simulation speed by moving the slider bar slower or faster. And I'll play the simulation again. Notice the cut lines being created as the toolpath is simulated. I'll close this simulation window by clicking the X. And I'll activate the back plot by selecting this icon or this one. By activating the Backplot Simulator in this method, it doesn't run within the Verify Simulator, but within the Mastercam window itself. Across the bottom, you'll now find the Play, Stop, Rewind, and other control buttons. Next to these buttons on the right is the slider bar, which will allow you to quickly move the tool through the simulation by clicking on it and sliding it across. In this area, you can control the appearance of the simulation. By default, the tool display is turned on. If I select this icon, I can turn the display of the cutting tool off and on. To the left of the tool is the option to display the color codes for multiple tools. To the right is the option to turn the tool holder display on and off. Continuing to the right, the next option will show or hide the rapid tool movements. If I advance the slider bar, you can now see the yellow lines being shown and then hidden as I turn this option off. The next button will show or hide the endpoints of each movement. which also correspond to the end of a line of the GNM code. Next is the Quick Verify, which will leave the outline of the bottom of the tool so you can easily see an overcut. Selecting the exclamation mark will open up the Backplot option windows. I'll close it and use all of the default settings. I'll skip the other settings for now. To run the simulation, I'll click the Play button here. To stop it, I can press the stop button here. I can also speed up and slow down the simulation with this slider bar. Lastly, information about the tool's movements can be seen here. Expanding the info button will allow me to see the cycle time information. And I'll select one of these two green check marks to exit the simulator.